hello friends this is tech that i know today i want to show you how to install u input module in our android devices the main purpose of the u input module is uh, i have got an uh, idea to connect my tablet to my old sony bravia led tv which doesn't have smart capabilities and i want to uh, give that uh, smart capabilities uh, uh, through this uh, tablet once if i connect uh, it does have the hdmi mini hdmi output so i can uh, connect my uh, this tablet to my sony led tv and uh, once if it is connected and the display is coming fine then i i can able to use my uh, tablet i can use i can browse i can see youtube videos and everything so in this way i can achieve uh, i can make my old tv to a smart tv for this project we require um three applications one is es file explorer this one and uh, the other one is terminal emulator terminal emulator and uh, the other application is uh, droid droid mode server also um our android tablet or android mobile should be rooted okay and each and every tablet or smartphone does have its own u input module uh, we need to find that module in the internet Uh, the compatible uh, u input module i have found the module of this tablet in one of the website i can link in the description this is uh, the one i am talking about the u input.ko and uh, for the users who are using the same tablet as i am uh, if we go and see the properties of u input module it should be 135.0 kb in this way we can identify our module and what we need to do is we need to copy uh, this u input uh, module copy and paste that paste that in the device folder or the root of our tablet actually i i missed the I didn't copy that. I'm doing doing that one more time for you guys. And I am copying the file here. Yeah, the file has successfully copied. And here, what what we need to do is we need to change the permissions of the file. from 777 to 644 that means remove uh, the execute permissions that's it so if we see the permissions one more time here you can observe that uh, the owner group others can read and write but not execute it now cut the file and paste 
in systems libraries modules in this part paste that file and also double check triple check the file properties it should be it should not be rwx 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 it should be rw 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 i am checking the permissions one more time yeah the permissions has set correctly here and we are good to go in order to install u input module we require te terminal em emulator in order to fire some commands the first first command is su using this command the terminal emulator would be having administration administrate uh, admin permissions so the command executed successfully now we need to type another command chmod space the permissions 644 actually there is no need to give the chmod command why because we have already changed the permissions of the file and we have provided that uh, 644 uh, permissions but i want to make sure whether this command executes here properly or not that's why i am executing the command one more time and the path of the file is system slash lib slash modules slash u in put dot k o ah beta okay 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 and uh, chmod chmod command not found mm, it's okay it's okay not a problem what we will do is we will we will close the emulators and we will open that one more time and uh, type the su command also ch more type it yeah the command is there ch mod space sorry six four four space slash system slash live slash modules slash u input dot k o yeah here you can see the command has executed without any error and the next command is to install the input u input module into our RAM hmm. okay 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 Ah, uh, sir, no, no, Jodhpo, YouTube, Jodhpo. I'm sorry. Uh, fine. The next command is INS mod. That means insert mod and give the same path as system slash lib slash modules slash u input dot ko 
this is the very critical command once if this is executed okay fine before that before that i want to show you why we require um uh, uinput module if i run the droid mode server uh, i am clicking on the off button here so that i can start the server i clicked on it here it is uh, showing the notification like u input module is not there that's how we we are unable to initialize the server i can click that one more time so for this purpose we require u input module if i execute this command yeah this command also executed successfully so this means now our tablet has the u input module for a testimony i am pressing the button one more time voila see see the difference so the server has started i can i hope i can install the client application in my mobile and i can show you how to connect uh, our tablet and how can we give the smart tv capabilities to our own led bye for now in the next video i am going to show you uh, the details uh, i am going to show you uh, what we say how to connect this tablet to my led and how to use it thanks thanks friends bye for now